The global crisis is going wild now, first COVID, Russia and Ukraine conflict, and now Palestine's Hamas and Israel is at war. Those conflict has given the semiconductor production more constraints. More or less supply chain is disrupted, and given the reasons Japan to position itself as the home to chip production. Japan is positioning itself as the alternative to Taiwan's semiconductor industry if China decides to invade the island. You may think Japan has enough resource to make it happen, right? But let's find out how Japan is preparing itself to dominate chip production while the world is raging with conflict, and one of them China plan to take Taiwan by force. And it will disrupt semiconductor industry. Japan policy towards semiconductor industry. One of the main factors that contribute to Japan's tech innovation is its strong culture of research and development. Japan has some of the best universities and research institutes in the world, such as Tokyo University, Kyoto University, and Riken, which produce high-quality scientific research and foster talented researchers. Japan also has a high level of public and private investment in R&D, ranking third in the world in terms of R&D expenditure as a percentage of GDP. Japan's government supports innovation through various policies and programs, such as the Innovation Japan Initiative, which aims to promote collaboration between academia, industry, and government, and to create new industries and markets based on advanced technologies. Japan also has a vibrant startup ecosystem, especially in Kyoto, where many deep tech startups are emerging from universities and research institutes, focusing on fields such as renewable energy, biotechnology, robotics, and artificial intelligence. Semiconductors are essential components of modern electronics, such as computers, smartphones, and cars. They are also vital for national security, as they enable advanced technologies for defense, intelligence, and communication. However, Japan, once a global leader in semiconductor production, has been losing its competitive edge in recent years. Facing challenges from China's rise, the COVID-19 pandemic, and the global chip shortage, Japan has decided to revamp its semiconductor strategy and revitalize its industry. Japan's semiconductor industry has a long and proud history. In the 1980s, Japan dominated the world market with more than 50% share, producing high-quality memory chips, logic chips, and microprocessors. Japan also developed cutting-edge technologies, such as dynamic random access memory, DROM, and flash memory. However, since the 1990s, Japan's semiconductor industry has been declining due to several factors, such as the rise of competitors from South Korea, Taiwan, and China, the shift of demand from memory chips to logic chips, the high cost of research and development R&D, and the lack of government support. As a result, Japan's share of the global semiconductor market dropped to 9% by 2022, and its technological gap with the leading countries widened to about 10 years. Japan also became more dependent on foreign suppliers for key materials and equipment. For example, Japan imports about 90% of its silicon wafers from Taiwan, and relies on Dutch company ASML for extreme ultraviolet EUV, lithography machines, which are essential for making advanced chips. Japan's vulnerability in semiconductors became more apparent in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic and the global chip shortage. The pandemic accelerated the digitalization of various sectors, such as healthcare, education, and entertainment, increasing the demand for semiconductors. However, the supply of semiconductors was disrupted by factory closures, trade restrictions, and natural disasters. The global chip shortage affected many industries that rely on semiconductors, such as automobiles, consumer electronics, and telecommunications. Japan was hit hard by the chip shortage, as it is a major exporter of cars and electronics. Japan also faced growing geopolitical risks in semiconductors. China, which aims to become a global leader in semiconductors by 2025, has been investing heavily in its domestic industry and acquiring foreign technologies through mergers and acquisitions. China also poses a military threat to Japan and its allies in the region. The United States, Japan's main ally and partner in semiconductors, has been imposing export controls on advanced chip technologies to China, creating tensions and uncertainties in the global market. In response to these challenges, Japan has adopted a new strategy for semiconductors and the digital industry in June 2021. 
The strategy aims to increase Japan's sales of semiconductors to more than 15 trillion yen, 108 billion US dollars, by 2030, tripling the 2020 figure. The strategy also focuses on three main areas, semiconductors, digital infrastructure, and digital industry. In the area of semiconductors, Japan plans to jointly develop cutting-edge semiconductor manufacturing technology and secure sufficient production capacity with foreign partners. For example, Japan has agreed to cooperate with Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company TSMC, the world's largest chip maker, to build a new plant in Kumamoto Prefecture. Japan also plans to accelerate digital investment and strengthen the design and development of cutting-edge logic chips with U.S. companies such as Intel and NVIDIA. Moreover, Japan intends to promote green innovation by developing energy-efficient chips and reducing carbon emissions from chip production. Furthermore, Japan aims to strengthen the portfolio of its domestic semiconductor industry and enhance its resilience by diversifying its supply chains and sources. In the area of digital infrastructure, Japan plans to promote locating data centers and establishing new facilities in Japan with optimal placement. Data centers are important for storing and processing large amounts of data generated by digital devices and services. Japan also plans to build green data centers that use renewable energy sources and reduce power consumption. Additionally, Japan plans to promote the development of communication infrastructure for 5G, beyond 5G, and other next-generation technologies that enable high-speed and low-latency data transmission. Furthermore, Japan plans to develop next-generation technologies such as quantum computing and artificial intelligence that can enhance the performance and security of digital infrastructure. In the area of digital industry, Japan plans to promote quality clouds and create a market for them. Quality clouds are cloud services that meet high standards of security, reliability, interoperability, transparency, and sustainability. Japan also plans to foster a digital industry that will provide services that are based in Japan and cater to local needs and preferences. Moreover, Japan plans to develop next-generation technologies that can achieve quality clouds, such as edge computing and blockchain. In order to implement this strategy, Japan has enacted the Economic Security Promotion Act ESPA, in May 2021, which directs Japanese companies to consider economic security in their decision-making. The ESPA also provides subsidies and incentives to companies that invest in semiconductors and digital infrastructure in Japan. Furthermore, Japan has established a system for cross-ministry slash agency cooperation and industry academia government collaboration to coordinate and support various projects. Additionally, Japan has reflected this strategy in its industrial policy and its green and energy policy. Japan has also strengthened its cooperation with the United States on semiconductors and the digital industry. In May 2021, Japan and the United States agreed on the basic principles on semiconductor cooperation, which outlined a vision for collaborating on objectives and strategies for establishing a more resilient semiconductor supply chain. In July 2021, Japan and the United States launched a joint task force for developing next-generation semiconductors, which aims to pursue joint R&D in key technologies. Japan also announced the formation of a public research organization called the Leading Edge Semiconductor Technology Center (LSTC) which is modeled after the U.S. National Semiconductor Technology Center, NSTC. The LSTC will conduct R&D on advanced semiconductor technologies and foster human resources. Japan's policy toward the semiconductor industry is a bold and ambitious attempt to regain its competitiveness and secure its economic security. However, Japan also faces many challenges and uncertainties in implementing this policy. For example, Japan needs to overcome the high cost and technical difficulty of developing and producing advanced chips. Japan also needs to balance its cooperation and competition with other countries, especially China and the United States. Japan also needs to ensure that its policy is consistent with the rules and norms of the World Trade Organization WDO, and other international organizations. Japan also needs to address the social and ethical issues that may arise from the use of digital technologies, such as privacy, data protection, and human rights. Dominant in Chip The global semiconductor industry is a fiercely competitive arena, with countries around the world vying for dominance. Japan, once a leader in this field, has seen its market share dwindle over the years. 
However, recent developments suggest that Japan is making concerted efforts to regain its footing in the global chip production landscape. Japan's semiconductor industry was once a global powerhouse, accounting for over 50% of global semiconductor production in the 1980s. However, a series of challenges including the US-Japan trade war in memory chips, failure to embrace a horizontally integrated production model, delay in digitalization and resulting lack of demand, and obsession with self-sufficiency and lack of public investment led to a significant decline. By 2022, Japan's share of the global chip production had fallen to around 10%. Recognizing the strategic importance of semiconductors in today's digital economy, Japan has prioritized the revival of its semiconductor industry as a key element of its economic security strategy. In November 2021, Tokyo approved a 774 billion yen package for semiconductor investments, including a 400 billion yen subsidy for Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Companies TSMC, new foundry in Kumamoto Prefecture. This new factory, in partnership with Sony, will primarily produce chips using 2228's nanometer process technology. However, despite these efforts, it remains to be seen whether Japan can regain its former dominance in chip production. The global semiconductor market is currently dominated by the United States and South Korea, with Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company accounting for 54% of the global market share. Moreover, China is also emerging as a significant player in this field. In conclusion, while Japan's efforts to revive its semiconductor industry are commendable and may lead to an increase in its market share, dominating the global chip production market will be a challenging feat it will require not only substantial investment, but also strategic partnerships, technological advancements, and favorable market conditions. Nevertheless, given the strategic importance of semiconductors in today's digital economy and the ongoing global chip shortage, Japan's efforts to strengthen its semiconductor industry are both timely and crucial.